This is our video for comparing fractions. So number one, I have three-fourths and six-eighths. Well, they're both more than a half, so then I have to look at finding an equivalent fraction. And if I multiply this one both by two, I see that I would get six-eighths, and six-eighths is equal to six-eighths. On number two, I see that this one is more than a half, and this one is less than a half, so two-thirds is bigger. Number three, six-twelfths is equal to a half, and six-eighths is more than a half, so six-eighths is bigger. Number four, two-fifths is close, but it's a little bit less than a half. Ten-twelfths is more than a half, and so then ten-twelfths is bigger. Number five, five-sixths is more than a half, where five-twelfths is less than a half, so five-sixths is greater. Number six, nine-twelfths is more than a half, and three-fourths is also more than a half. So I need to look at a different way. And I see that if I multiply my top and my bottom both by three, I get nine-twelfths. And 9 twelfths is equal to 9 twelfths. Number 7. This one, they're both less than half, but I see that my numerators are the same. And I know, we talked about this in class, when my numerator is in the same, the smaller denominator makes the bigger fraction because the pieces are bigger. The next one, 6 eighths is more than a half, and 3 twelfths is less than a half. So 6 eighths is bigger. Number 9. 4 6 is more than a half, and 4 eighths is equal to a half. So 4 6 is bigger. Number 10. 11 twelfths is more than a half, and 2 6 is less than a half. So 11 twelfths is bigger. Number 11, I see right away my numerators are the same, so I know that the smaller denominator makes the bigger fraction. Number 12, 6 tenths is just a little bit more than a half, and 3 twelfths is less than a half, so 6 tenths is bigger. Number 13, 1 eighth is less than a half, and 2 fifths is less than a half. And they don't have a way that really gets them easily to have the same denominator unless I go up to 40. So I can either multiply both of them by 8 and then multiply both of 1 eighth by 5. But I can also see that 2 is close to a half and 1 eighth is not at all close to a half. So I'm going to say that because if I were to put them on that number line, two-fifths would be really, really close to a half, and one-eighth is still really, really close to a half. Number 14, one-fourth is less than a half, and seven-eighths is more than a half, so seven-eighths is bigger. Number 15, three-twelfths is less than a half, five-eighths is bigger. Number 16, same numerator again. So then I can see that the smaller denominator, and that 3, makes one third bigger. <laughs> Number 17, 3 fourths is more than a half, and so is 7 tenths. And it's tough to gauge between 3 tenths and 1 fourth on which one is bigger. So I am going to find that common denominator. But this one's not too tough because I can think about money for three-fourths. If I have three quarters, then I have 75 cents out of 100. And seven-tenths is the same as 70 hundredths. So then I can easily see that three-fourths is a bigger fraction there. Number 18, five-twelfths is less than a half, and one-eighth is less than a half. Just like on number 13, 5 twelfths is really, really close to a half. It's only one little twelfth away, and 1 eighth is very far from a half. 
So I know that five tenths is bigger. Number 19, eight tenths is more than a half, and four twelfths is less than a half. So eight twelfths is bigger. And number 20, the numerators are the same. They're both fours. So I see that eight is a smaller denominator, which makes it the bigger fraction. So that is our comparing fractions review. We used a couple different strategies. Mostly I stuck with comparing it to a half because that gives me a quick idea.